is going on folks it is k spade the prospect back today with a brand new ncaa football dynasty video fam we over here with my marshall thundering herd series and it was a lot of y'all in the live stream last night so most of you guys know that we had an amazing season we kind of got lucky too it was just like you know it was the luck of the draw i did not give marshall a tough schedule at all i took the default schedule that ncaa generated for me we didn't play a lot of ranked teams. I think we may have only played two ranked teams. One during the regular season, and of course we swept our way through the Conference USA. We was undefeated, and we went to the national championship game. Now a lot of folks was upset, like, this is crazy. The strength of schedule for these guys is dumb weak. You guys should not be playing in the natty. And I said, hey, I see no problems with it. But we ran into Baker Mayfield and Oklahoma, and let me tell you, man, OU was definitely on that game. It was a classic battle. And even though, in the end, Baker Mayfield got the best of us, I liked the way the team performed. We didn't quit, we didn't lay down, we didn't roll over, we fought. We actually sacked Baker Mayfield seven times in that game, injuring him twice, but he just kept coming back, man. It was typical Baker Mayfield. Like, he was willing to do whatever he had to do to make sure that his team got the win, and that's what he did, man. So anyway, we finished the season last night on live stream, and... You know, as always, y'all know what happened during the offseason. We come out here, we try to make our team better, and we add some supporters of the stream to the series. Now, as the rule goes, we add 15 people each, like, offseason, all right? And it's a couple of things I like to do. For one, I like to do that because it's my way of giving back to you guys. And I also want you guys to get more engulfed in the story. You know, you kind of keep up with where these kids go. Where are they? And a lot of times we go and we check players of the week and just randomly, boom, oh, that's, that's so-and-so's guy. You know, so that's always cool. And I know a lot of people kind of, look at this disrespect right quick. Hold up, hold up. We was just in the national championship and we're going to start this season off unranked? Bet. All right, that's bulletin board material. Bet. But anyway. It's always a few people that don't get their guys added. Sometimes people get a little upset with me. Like, Spade, I've been supporting this thing for multiple seasons, and I haven't made it in. So, I don't know. Moving forward, I might find a better system. Maybe, I don't know, like a, like a, I don't know. I'm going to come up with something, though, because I want it to be fair, and I want it to be fun, too. I don't want anybody getting all upset or being pissy about it. So, what I want to do is try to find a way to, like, I don't know, maybe every time you come to a stream, you earn some type of badge and then at the end of the season the people with the most badges get in i don't know i'm gonna come up with something anyway this is the preseason as you can see i kind of gave it to you out of order man uh the off-season recruiting i did on stream uh my nephew crazy spade decided that he did not want to play for his uncle that's fine he went to odu he's not playing this year if he was I'm, when he's playing i'm putting odu on the schedule and i'm kicking his ass you can believe that but we still took on a pretty tough schedule. You know, last season we took on the toughest schedule in the nation. And we came back this year and we did the same thing. So, if they're a good team, we play in them. Uh, you know, our conference schedule is tough. Our non-conference schedule is tough. You name it. If they're a good team out there, we got them on the schedule. Believe that. And if you guys aren't on our schedule, then you got to figure out what you're doing wrong in life. Because we want to play the best. So, if we ain't playing you, we don't think you the best. All right? We also lost LaFrance. So, I'm... I'm 0 for 2 with these bang out kids, man. We we didn't get LaPares, we didn't get LaFrance. So, you know, just forget them bang out kids, man. They they crazy anyway. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the real reason you guys are here. I'm showing you the preseason All-Americans. Y'all don't care about that. You want to see the kids that made it into this particular season on the recruiting pool, and I'm about to show you that right now. Now, I do want to mention something before I go forward. This year, it was a lot of tight ends and it was a lot of strong safeties. So, I took a few of those, and I didn't take all of them, obviously, because I didn't want, I ain't want, you know, 13 strong safeties or whatever. So, I took a few tight ends, I took a few um, strong safeties, and then I took guys who made players that I felt like would impact. And I'm going to tell you something about me. And, and this, I don't want this to make you guys change the way you approach this, but certain things trigger my creativity. It, cr it triggers my mind, all right? So, if you, somebody had a character and he said that his nickname was Debo. That instantly, that triggered my, my my mind. I was like, oh snap, you know, a safety named Debo? Like he gonna be cracking dudes? Yeah, so I, I gotta have that. And I'm gonna tell you something else. I like when people allow me to have a little bit of fun in the creation process. A shout out to the homie Rated. Rated had hit me up a couple of years back. I'm talking about seasons in the game. He was like, Spade, 
put me in the game. I want to be a kicker. I want a strong leg. And I was like, if I give you a strong leg, I got to hurt your accuracy. He said, man, make my accuracy dumb low. And that just triggered my mind. I was like, this kid will be able to make a 70 yarder. But people in the stands are going to be ducking because there's no telling where this ball is going to go. So that kind of stuff makes it fun for me. And this year, somebody said, I want, I want my kid to be a middle backer. And the comparison I want for him is Bobby Boucher. I was like, bet, that instantly got him in. So this kid is fast. He can hit like it's nobody's business, but I put his awareness low. I put his play rec low. He might be running the wrong damn way out there. But that's the kind of stuff that makes the story funny. It makes it intriguing, and it makes people want to follow along. So anyway, I've talked over my 15 guys at it. Matter of fact, shout out to Jordan Nice. Jordan Nice is the guy that said make his kid like Bobby Boucher. That's why he got the neck roll and the whole thing. I'm definitely following that kid's story. I didn't even, I don't even think I added him to my recruit list, but wherever he goes, I'm intrigued. So here's my recruiting process. This is what I do. The first thing I do, I go to the nation's best 100 players and I look for interest. To my surprise, JP had us first. This is a blue chip wide receiver. Matter of fact, we had three players in the top 100. All three was wide receivers and two of them was top five player in the nations. Not top five receivers, top five players in the nation. I'm telling you, man, they're looking at what Chase Litton is doing over here and these wide receivers are saying, this is the kind of system I want to be a part of. I can really get behind this. And I'm like, you know, this is where y'all want to be. Say no more. So we get those players at it. And the next thing for me is just going through, trying to distribute these points evenly. Don't pay too much attention about how I'm distributing points because it's going to change so much as the season goes on. Like, if I'm further behind on somebody, they might get more. Once I get ahead, I take some points off. You know, and I just play it that way. So I jumped over Here's my theory, because somebody asked me, like, hold up, Spade, you made my kid and you didn't even recruit him. So the first thing I do is maybe the top, I don't know, 15, 20, those are going to be guys who have me on their list, who are good players, who I think can take our program somewhere. Then after those 20, then I start to go after a couple of the created guys that I think would be interesting to have on the team. So I, I don't come out here and go after all the created guys, because a lot of them are from all over the nation. Some of them don't even have me on their list. Some of them don't even want to talk to us. They won't even allow us to talk to them. So it's most important for me to come out here and get the guys that I know I can get to come to this school and change this program around. But short video, man. This is all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the live stream tonight. Ole Miss tonight, folks. All right, I'm out, y'all. Peace.